an anti-hunger pill could be on the horizon, and that is in the next report at Study Finds. Researchers from Stanford Madison and Baylor University have identified a molecule that keeps people from getting hungry after working out. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> In experiments, the compound dramatically reduced food intake and obesity in mice. Study authors hope to turn it into a medication that may even replace the need to go to the gym. Wait, I know what you're saying. Why wouldn't you want to go to the gym and get the exercise benefits anyway? Well, let me tell you, they're trying to find out if there's a way to duplicate that with a pill. Lead author Professor Yang Zhu from the Baylor College of Medicine said, quote, Regular exercise has been proven to help weight loss, regulate appetite, and improve the metabolic profile, especially for people who are overweight and obese. Hey, I get it. I see the point. These stories always come up for me. <laughs> he went on, if we can understand the mechanism by which exercise triggers these benefits, then we are closer to helping many people improve their health. While studying mice after intense treadmill activity, the team identified a modified amino acid called LACPHE, that's L-A-C-P-H-E, as the most significantly induced molecule. So, here's where the possibility of a pill comes in. LACPHE is synthesized from lactate a byproduct of strenuous exercise responsible for the burning sensation of muscles and phenylalanine, a building block of proteins. See, if you can figure that out, then you don't have to exercise to get the lactate, right? We'll see. In lab rodents fed a high-fat diet, a high dose of lactate cut their food intake in half over a period of 12 hours compared to a control group. It also didn't affect their movement or energy expenditure. And when administered to the mice for 10 days, LACFI reduced consumption and body fat and improved glucose tolerance. The researchers also identified an enzyme called CNDP2 that is involved. Can't we just come up with regular names for these? All these letters and numbers. The researchers also identified an enzyme called CNDP2 that is involved in the production of LACFI. They showed mice lacking the enzyme did not lose as much weight on an exercise regime as a control group in the same plan. <laughs> I feel like I'm in that control group. <laughs> I must not have enough of the CNDP2. Interestingly, the team also found robust elevations in plasma LACFI levels following physical activity in racehorses and in humans. The metabolic effects of LACFI were not investigated in the human participants. Researchers say further studies will be necessary to provide more insights into possible new therapeutic opportunities for human health. Now you can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking in the link in the description below and heading over to studyfinds.com.